Welcome back to Bakersfield Jam. Found a groove in December, winning five of seven so far. Tonight, they hosted a team with a lot of talent, but very little to show for it in terms of the standings. Oklahoma City just four and eight on the season, despite several college stars on the roster. The Jam looked good early. Elijah Millsap with the pretty spin on the drive for the bucket. But OKC came out clicking too. Look at the vision from Michael Jenkins. Sees Richard Solomon back door and feeds him for the alley-oop. The blue shot well too. Grant Jarrett from downtown in the corner. And then Talib Zana on the pull-up jumper. Spoiler alert coming up. The Jam lose. But here's the play of the game. Bakersfield the ball 1.3 on the clock at the end of the first half. Chris Wright inbounds to Xavier Munford who heaves one falling away. Nothing but net. The buzzer beater from Munford. Here it is again in slow motion. An incredible shot. The Jam lose it anyways. 130 to 116. But what a great play. The end of the first half there. While the Jam missed out on a WCSUB's men's team. Finally got the monkey off its back. The Roadrunners get win number two on the season. 59-50 the final over Idaho State in the World Vision Classic. Jalen Arrington led the way. 20 points, 8 of 10 shooting, 3 of 5 from downtown. CSUB now 2-10 and 10 on the year. They get a holiday break, and then they head up north to Berkeley. They'll play the Pac-12's Cal Bears December 28th. And the Bakersfield Condors wrapping up a three-game set in Alaska. The Aces won the first two games, and we're looking good again tonight. But the Condors scored two goals late in the game to send it to overtime. Sebastian Sylvester, the only player on either team to score in the shootout. Condors win. Bakersfield returns to Condors Town and Home Ice Rabobank Friday night when the Stockton Thunder come to town. The NFL gave fans a double dose of action on Saturday night. Two of the league's most polarizing teams this season, Washington and San Francisco, both hosting fringe playoff contenders. Both games were good ones. Could this be Jim Harbaugh's final game as a head coach of the San Francisco 49ers? That's the question. San Fran on the three game losing streak, the longest of Harbaugh's tenure. And he's got to be wondering, where's this been all season? Frank Gore's longest run of the year. And this is vintage Frank Gore. The Niners came out on fire in this one. And it was on both sides of the football. Antoine Bethay, that's just too easy. Picks off Phillip Rivers. He threw it right to him. Bethay cruises in for the score. 21-0, 49ers lead at this point. The Chargers, they never quit, though. They made it a game. It's 28-21 now. And again, Niners fans, we ask, Where's this been? Colin Kaepernick shows off his best asset. Look at the speed. The second longest run by a QB in NFL history goes for 90 yards and a score. Last chance for the San Diego Chargers now. Down seven, 30 seconds to play. Rivers to Malcolm Floyd for the touchdown, sends it to overtime. And after a Niners fumble, Nick Novak completes the improbable comeback. The story of the 49ers season. Chargers win it 38-35. They keep their playoff hopes alive and the Eagles in the nation's capital facing rival Washington another game full of momentum swings RG3 got the start hands it off to Alfred Morris in the first to burst through the gap and then throws the stiff arm and plows into the end zone Washington up early Eagles trail by 10 now in the fourth Riley Cooper on third down it's gonna make a leaping grab in the end zone the Eagles go on to tie it now they have a chance to drive for the winning score but Mark Sanchez Intercepted by the rookie, Bashad Breland brings on Kai Forbath, the Washington kicker. He's going to nail the game winner. Down go the Eagles, 27-24, to the final in that one. Kristen, back to the jam. That shot was you incredible. Were really excited I was about really it. excited about it. It was a great shot. He was falling away into the crowd. He knocked a guy's drink over. If you had a play of the night, that would be that it, That was right? easily. Yeah, that's play of the month. All right, there you go. Thanks, Thanks so much, Jason. Coming up on 17 News at 11.